Hi everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this nifty little gift card holder. With Christmas right around the corner, it seems that gift cards are all over the place. And if you're anything like me, sometimes I feel like a gift card is a little impersonal. So I like to put them in a homemade holder because then at least, you know, I put a little bit of effort into the gift. Um, so here's the front of the holder, and when you open it up, you have your greeting oh, and your gift card. Fits right in there in that slot. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock cut at four and one quarter by ten and three quarter, and I'm using the crumb cake today. So we're going to make a couple of score marks. So I'm going to get my car out and my bone folder. And we're going to score at four and one quarter, and eight and three quarter. And that's all the scoring that we need to do. So I'm going to put this back. And then I'm going to go ahead and reinforce my score lines. There we go. So now to make this holder, you're going to need your word window punch. And to make the actual place where you put your card, your gift card, you're going to put your punch all the way in from the bottom of the cardstock and line your, your cardstock up right there with that edge right there. And then punch. Now you're going to slide your cardstock through the punch and then line it up right there on that side and punch again. And if you get, sometimes you get two little like uh, triangles right there in the middle, no big deal. Just stick your word window punch in there and punch those little triangles out. So it should look like that. So when you close it up, it, the word window right there is at the top of the card and it's hidden by the flap. So now to decorate the card, I'm using two DSPs um, from the Festival of Prints packet that you can get right now in the Holiday Mini. And this piece is cut at four by four. And then this topper piece is cut at one and three quarter by four. I'm gonna take my um, corner rounder punch and I'm just going to punch these four corners right here real fast. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to attach my DSP paper to the front of my cardstock. And I want to make sure that when I put my snail on there, I only put it on the outside edge because I don't want it to go in the middle because then it'll go right there in my window and I won't be able to stick my gift card in there. So only do it on the outside edge. And then stick it down. And do the same thing here with the top. And then stick that piece down right there. And there we go. So now to keep your gift card closed, we have to make a little flap right here um, so that this can stick behind it, like in this one, so it will um, stay closed, like that. So for that, you need a piece of colored cardstock for your backing, and this is soft suede, and this is cut at two and five eighths by two and one eighth, and then a piece of whisper white, and this is cut at two and a half by two. So to decorate my card today, what I'm using is the Pennant Parade stamp set, and I'm gonna be using the base of the tree right there, and I'm going to be using that Christmas tree or triangle right there. And I'm using the matching um, punch today as well. 
So I'm going to take the trunk of my tree in the Early Espresso ink, and I'm going to get this inked up, and then punch my image right there. It's a little crooked, so I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do it again. That's the beauty of being able to have a backer piece. There we go, that's better. So now I'm using the Lucky Limeade cardstock along with the Lucky Limeade ink. And I'm going to two tone or tone on tone my tree with the Lucky Limeade paper. So I'm just going to punch it on there, it doesn't matter where it goes. And then use my punch. and punch out my stamped tree. There we go. So it'll look like that. But I want to go ahead and put my message on here first. And because I'm working with such a small space right there, I'm going to use my stamp -a jig And for those of you that don't know how to use a stamp -a jig I'm going to show you. I'm using the Petite Pears stamp set and I'm using the Merry Christmas stamp right there. So to use your stamp -a jig I'm going to get my ink ready. This is what your stamp -a jig looks like. You get two pieces when you order um, your tool and you're going to take your clear base um, backing right there and you're going to stick the corner of it right here in the stamp -a jig just like that. You're going to ink your image up and then you're going to line the side of your block with the side of your stamp -a jig They fit right in there and then you're going to stamp. So now you have your image on the clear paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to, now I don't want to stick my tree down with snail, I want to puff it up with a dimensional, but I need to know where I want my tree to be um, in order to get my message. So that looks good with my tree right there. So my message needs to be right, I need to move my tree down a little bit. Like that. Okay, so my message needs to be right there at the top, almost at the tip, tip, top. So I'm going to put my clear spot down so when I stamp it, this is what it will look like. It gives you a view. Take my stamp -a jig again, put it at the corner of the clear piece, and now I'm going to take this clear piece away. And I can actually take my tree away too, making sure I don't move the white. Ink my image up. Line it up in the corner. And stamp. So now, I know that my image, when I put my tree down, is going to be straight. And I know that it's going to be in the spot that it needs to be. The stamp -a jig is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful tool. I, I love it. I use it all the time because, like I've said many times in my videos, I don't hardly ever get anything straight, it seems. So now I'm going to ink my Whisper White up. And I'm going to attach it to my soft suede backer piece. There we go. And then get my dimensionals and stick a dimensional right there on my tree. And then put my tree where I want it. Perfect. Now to get your flap to stay closed, you only want to put sticky on the bottom part right here because you don't want it on the top or your flap will get stuck. So I'm just going to put it right down here at the bottom, 
close my flap to see where I want it and I'm gonna put it right down here. You wanna make sure that you don't put it too far up or your flap won't be able to get into place. And then there's the front of your gift card holder. So now when you open it up, there's where you put the gift card. And I went ahead and cut a piece for the inside and decorated it with the same tree that I did with the front. And this piece is also cut at four by four and I used the very vanilla cardstock. Just going to snail that up and stick it right down here on the inside, just like that. Then to add my last finishing touch, I'm going to use my Dazzling Diamonds in the Cherry Cobbler, and I'm just going to outline the string um, on my trees right here, just to give it a little bit more effect. Just like that. And there's my finished card. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, happy inking!